hey guys what's up yes wifey is not here because she's in DC at the time um sorry about this video situation we seem to have had some technical difficulties with the phone while recording the Thanksgiving meal now I said Thanksgiving meal oh my god New Year's meal um apparently the recurring recording was all messed up no guys I was not drunk no I was not um was I tipsy maybe a little bit but the recording situation no it's because of the simple fact that the phone storage situation was getting messed up and I knew we should have brought out the old 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 phones and actually did the video recordings on that the old phones S stupid us just was like fuck it let's just basically use our regular phones and look what happened it got all screwed up so y'all are going to be extremely confused with the video footage of this um if you is i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but i hope you guys actually enjoyed this confusing video i'll see you guys later peace what's up what's up what's up guys how's everybody doing hope everybody's doing fine sorry about the camera angle guys we are about to get these daggone freaking neck bones going i already washed and cleaned them and everything as you can see wonderful size next bones for the channel i'm going to be basically adding some water to this cold water guys i'm not going to add any hot water to it because guess what so it's just basically you know what whoever adds hot water to their food they're crazy they'll be crazy hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful new year's eve and a wonderful new year's because by the time you see this guys it's going to be new year's day Okay, I'm going to basically pull up this pot where it's about close to a half a pot of water until it's covered. And it's actually covered with a nice amount of water in here. I'm going to add some vinegar. Yes, guys, I add some vinegar to it. This is a cheap brand of vinegar. Yes, guys. And I just basically do it this way. Um, this is not the way my aunt showed me how to do it, but I did it. My phone just went off twice. I wonder why. Um, let's pour some vinegar. Do I measure? No, guys. One thing I can tell you guys, I never measure. I go off of assumptions. I think that's enough. I don't never measure. And I don't never really put too much vinegar at all. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Stick there. I use some ginger. Yes. I use some ginger inside of this. Because I like ginger uh, inside of my neck bones. It's give it like a heck of a kick. It gives it a nice kick. Whoever doesn't use ginger inside of neck bones, try it. It's a nice kick, especially for the um, wonderful pinto beans as well, which I'm going to do. I got some parsley. I'm going to put some parsley in here. There we go, adding the parsley while I shake it all into the pot. Always add more and more and more parsley if you want. Gonna add some paprika. Yes, some paprika to it. Wonderful amount of paprika. And like I said guys, I don't measure. I go off of my eyes. Most people measure some adobo. Yes, guys. I use adobo for everything, guys. And the reason why it has salt and pepper and all of the seasoning in it. And that's just the way I do it, guys. And there we go. We have the seasonings inside the pot. We're going to put the pot on the stove, which is over here. The stove. And we're going to put it on a medium temperature. Medium, not high. Medium temperature. And let it simmer. Yes, guys. We're going to let it cook and simmer. This is the first burner. We're going to put it in the middle and let it simmer. It is now 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. And I am now putting this on to cook. I should be back 
in the process of two to three hours later and checking this out then i would basically be showing you guys the pimpo beans <laughs> So, hope you guys are actually enjoying this little vlog of me making pinto beans for New Year's. Okay? And New Year's Eve. Stay tuned for more. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back in a couple of hours. Later. Welcome back to the kitchen and seeing the refrigerator in the trash can. Ladies and gentlemen, the pot is actually looking pretty good. It smells really good. Smells extremely good. Woo, look at that steam fly out of this pot. Guys, the neck bones are definitely looking extremely well. It is time to add the beans to the pot. Yes, guys, it's time to add the beans to the pot. Oh, God. This is, like, so freaking hard, especially when your wife don't freaking help you with the camera situation. So, I'm actually doing this by myself because my wife ain't helped me. Okay. So, um... She's supposed to be helping me, but she chooses not to help me, guys. Um, we're going to grab the beans and toss them inside this pot. We need to add some more water to the pot. Yes, guys, we got to add some more water to the pot because the water has dissolved, as you can tell, inside the pot. Oh, now she wants to come and help. Um, <laughs> now she wants to come and help, guys. Now, um... It has dissolved. Gosh. The water has dissolved inside the pot. I'm going to stir that up. Guys, I am tired. <laughs> so, knock it off. Hey, you're tired because you decided to stay up. Sorry, um, wifey storage seems to have had some issues with the phone. You know, this is the reason why we need new phones. And wifey is tired because she decided to stay up 24 hours yesterday. Um, other than that, because she couldn't sleep. That's why she couldn't sleep. So, as you can see, um, the pinto beans is in here. And you saw in the pot that it was dead. I was going to add some more water to it. I don't need to add any more water. Um, once the water gets low, I'll add more water to it. But other than that, it's in there. It is now 5.04. About 7 o'clock, I will be checking that to see how it's doing. And then guess what? We still got to do the barbecue chicken, guys. Didn't even clean the chicken yet. But yes, my wife is actually tired. She's exhausted. That's the reason why she's not helping me, because she's tired. But it's getting done. If y'all happen to be going into my live stream while I'm actually doing a live stream on Unravel, which I'm going to show you guys, even though the camera's all over the freaking place. Yes, guys. I'm live doing Unravel. Yes, guys. I stopped to do this. Ha, ha, ha. I've been live for an hour and 23 minutes. Saucy and Jen and Candy is in here having a nice conversation. And guess what? I'm about to get back in it. Stay tuned for more of New Year's Eve cooking dinner. Later, guys. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? Silly me was on the video game and totally forgot about the bag on thing. And the messed up part is, it was only an hour later. If I did not get up, I think this would have been burnt, guys. There was no water inside the goddamn freaking pot. For some reason, an hour later, the water was gone. And you know why? I totally forgot to turn down the freaking fire. <laughs> only me, guys. Only me. Um, will there be bacon? Yes, guys, the bacon will come in last. I normally put the bacon in when it's like almost, almost done. So, we're just going to let this stuff simmer for a while, and then we're going to get the bacon in there, guys. I know most of you are probably saying, where's the bacon? Guys, there's going to be bacon, but the messed up part about the bacon, um, wifey, you want to show them the bacon? Because it's not the bacon that I normally use. And it doesn't produce too much juice. So this is the reason why I'm definitely putting this in OD last. Because the baking is... This one. Which I don't normally use. 
I don't normally use this kind of bacon, but I'm going to use it this go around. The low sodium bacon because the salt situation is a little high with us, so we're trying to lower it down. As you can see, the little chicken bites is inside the sink. She's about to clean the chicken. I have that ready for me, so when I get ready to barbecue it and do my little barbecue seasoning, I can just pop that right on in the oven. And that's not till like close to like 10, 10 o'clock, about 10 o'clock, guys. As you can see, we are making nice time. It is 6.16. It's almost time, but we still got time, guys. And guess what, guys? I only have one beer. One beer. Just one. Stay tuned for more. Peace out. What's up, guys? As you can see right here, this is the pan for the barbecue chicken, which I like to actually saute before I actually do it inside the barbecue sauce. I like to make sure that it's enough sauce on the chicken. So I like to saute it on the pan, and I like to do this, this right here, paprika, parsley, and adobo. If y'all are wondering why we did the bacon, and she put the bacon inside. Oh, this is smelling so good. It's still cooking, guys. It is still cooking, and it's so smelling good. Fire is on low fire. Very nice simmer. And the time is now 9.14. This food is going to be done before it even hits midnight, guys. Hope y'all ready. Hope y'all ready. Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? With the babies, Bella and Bernice. So right here we have some pinto with some bacon and um, neck bones. Yummy. And we're having some... Barbecue chicken and some uh, some rice, some brown rice. Um, I guess tomorrow we'll finish cooking with the babies fighting. Really, girls. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's all we're having. Um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace out.